You're watching another Raw Instinct commentary. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Max here, or Raw Instinct, and today I'm going to be giving you a complete breakdown of the explosive equipments in Modern Warfare 3. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the C4, the Claymore, and the Bouncing Betty. Now, I know there's a bunch of people who have done this video before, but a ton of people have been requesting it in the comments section below, and it's very hard to ignore, so I decided to put my own twist on it, and I'm going to be breaking it down even more. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the stats, the range, the overall capacity of each one of these equipments, and what might be better for each situation. So, with that being said guys make sure to sit back and relax and let's get right into this breakdown video all right so the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at today is the ranges on all of these equipments including the claymore c4 and the bouncing betty now if we take a look at an overall aerial view of it you'll kind of notice what i did here was break them down now with the claymore as you do know it only blasts in somewhat of an angle while with the c4 and the betty it blasts at a full 360 degree angle now if we take a look at a little detailed breakdown that i provided for you guys here on the left hand side with the betty as you can see here once again it blows up in a 360 degree radius and the you know the kind of the range range of it is about 3 meters to 4 meters. I tried to kind of um, approximate it a little bit. While with the C4 in the middle, as you can tell here, once again, the same blast radius at 360 degrees. And I thought that the range was a little bit bigger at about 3.5 meters. I thought the blast radius kind of killed at a larger range. And as you can see here with the Claymore, it was widely better for a range at about 6.5 meters. But once again, it only blasts at a small angle. Now next up, I know a lot of you guys are going to be curious about fuse times and which one might be going off faster. As you do know with the C4, it can be set off instantly, so what I decided to do was test the Claymore and the Bouncing Betty. Now what I found out, as you can see here on the left hand side, the Claymore gets set off slightly faster than the Bouncing Betty, about a quarter second faster. But hey, you know that is still a big difference because that's going to really make a difference between your enemy getting killed and your enemy running right past the piece of equipment. And as far as survival with all these things, the Bouncing Betty is relatively easy to survive. You can either have the option of laying down and proning underneath it and you'll survive 100% of the time without any damage. Or you can also take the route where you crouch somewhat near it. You can't crouch right underneath it or you will die. But if you're near it and you crouch, you'll also survive with about 30% health left. So one bullet, you'll be dead by an enemy. And then also taking a look at the C4 and the Claymore on the other hand, the threshold at which you can survive while triggering it is very small. I mean, there's probably a one foot difference between life or death. So with the Claymore and the C4, once again, very difficult to trigger it and survive at the same time, but it's very easy to trigger it and die. Now to finally take a look at the Claymore, Betty, and the C4 stats, I'm going to be comparing the fuse times, the damage, and the range with all of them. So as you can tell with the Betty, the fuse time on that was about one second, and the Claymore was at about a quarter second faster than that. So I'm going to be placing the Claymore at about 0.75 seconds. Now with the C4, on the other hand, it's instant. You know, it really depends on how far you're throwing it, but once it's down and you throw it on a wall or on the ground, you can trigger it off instantly. Now as far as damage goes, the Claymore and the C4 were winners in this category. The Betty was kind of lacking a little bit because if you're right over it, it's going to do 100 damage, right? That's going to be a simple kill. But you're, if you're a little far away from it, if you're crouching, like I said, it's going to do 70 damage. So one bullet, the enemy will be down. Now, as far as the Claymore and the C4 go, on the other hand, those both do 250 damage. So 200 from close range and 50 from the farthest point. So just know, if you do get a hit marker with one of these equipments, you will be taking down the enemy at half health. And as far as range goes, finally, once again, this has mixed reviews because some people like Claymores because of the you know the longer range in one direction but some people like the betty and the c4 for the full 360 degree um you know kind of radius so that all has to do with personal opinion and with that being said, I think that it's pretty much a wrap of the video. So to answer the question, what equipment might be better? Honestly, it all has to do with your play style. Now with the Claymore, I think if you hold down positions a little bit more if you, or if you tend to camp, it's going to be a little better because with the long blast radius, you can hold down doorways. Now with the Betty and the C4, I think that is really good for like rushing or if you're a fast paced type of player. It's very good for that because you can pick it up, you can throw it in different areas, and you know, you can always just keep throwing it. You don't need to watch one direction. But uh, anyways, if you did enjoy the video, I'd like to kind ask you to remember to rate the video down below it only takes a second and it really does help my channel out a ton click the like button if you did enjoy the video and also if you guys haven't already make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter links will be in the description below make sure to click that subscribe button up above and have a great day guys it's Max here or Raw Unsync I'm signing out love you all 
So the two videos that you sexy subscribers may have missed, on the left hand side I have some important Black Ops 2 news and information, if you did miss that video, I highly recommend you go over there and watch it guys, a lot of you did enjoy it, and I gave a ton of information about the upcoming Call of Duty game, and on the right hand side I have a machine pistol breakdown, click either annotation that you would like to watch, and have a great day!